How to use a keyboard and mouse for Windows 7 installation on DFI's BW, SD, SU and SH series products. This video shows how to update the XHCI driver into Windows 7 ISO file by using the USB keyboard and mouse during the installation. Why can't I use the USB keyboard and mouse during Windows 7 installation? The Windows 7 installation files do not include the USB 3.0 XHCI driver, and the USB 3.0 XHCI is the only type of USB host controller supported by DFI's BW, SD, SU, and SH series platforms. Hence, it is necessary to rebuild a Windows 7 installation image to include the XHCI driver for using the USB 3.0 keyboard and mouse on these platforms. Obtain the driver update utility and the XHCI driver from DFI. Please go to the DFI website to submit the support request. First, open your browser and type in DFI's website URL, www.dfi.com, select Contact Us, and Technical Support. Fill in the required information including your company name, your name, email, and product model name. In the subject field, specify that you are requesting the driver update utility for Windows 7 installation. In the description field, describe the issue you are experiencing. Third, submit your request. Our technical support will respond to your request as soon as possible. Update the XHCI driver into your Windows 7 installation image. Please note that this driver update utility works for both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7 installation. After you have gotten the driver update utility, proceed with the following procedure to update the Windows 7 ISO file. First, extract the driver update utility file. The utility contains several folders and an executable file, Win7 at USB 3 driver. Second, double click the Win7 at USB 3 driver file to execute the program. Third, click Source ISO path to select your Windows 7 ISO file. Fourth, Click Generate ISO path to select a destination folder for the modified ISO file and specify its file name. Fifth, click Create Image to start updating the ISO image. The update process will take several minutes. The DOS command line window will pop up during the process. You should see the Operation Deploying Image Service and Management tool several times before the screen display is done to indicate the entire process has been completed successfully. The updated Windows ISO file will be in the destination folder. Create your own installation media with the updated ISO file. Insert a blank USB or DVD with at least 4 GB of space. Use your preferred program to create a USB or DVD installation media from the modified ISO file. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Windows Disk Image Burner program. Open the folder where the updated Windows 7 ISO file has been saved. Right-click on the ISO file. From the menu, select Burn Disk Image. The Windows Disk Image Burner will open. Select the Disk Burner. Click on Burn to start burning the disk image. Boot from a USB or DVD drive. The following steps show you how to set the BIOS to boot from the selected media. When the system starts, repeatedly press the Delete key to enter the BIOS setup utility. Use your keyboard's left and right key to select the Boot tab. Then use the up and down key to select Legacy and press Enter. Select Boot Type Order and select your desired device to boot from. Use the plus key to move the device to the top of the list. Press F10 to save your changes and exit the BIOS. Install Windows 7 on your DFI device. You are now ready to install Windows 7 on your DFI device and use the keyboard and mouse during the installation. Insert the Windows 7 installation DVD into a DVD drive or connect the USB drive to your device. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows 7 installation. Contact us at inquiry at if you have any questions.